the five pillars of persuasion and aid in the pursuit of becoming a directed specific. The five pillars of persuasion, dual coded style. One, intention. Two, rapport. Three, criteria. Four, language patterns. Five, storytelling. One, Intention is the rudder to your ship. Intention is a person's specific purpose in performing an action or series of actions the end or goal is aimed at. What you have right now is the result of the effective use of your unconscious mind and your intention. The benefit of watching and listening to this video for 21 days will be more of what you have clearly defined and intend to receive. The importance of clearly stating your intention will only be yours if you keep your word. It teaches your unconscious mind you mean what you say. If you mastered the art of intention, would you move yourself closer to being a directed specific or a wandering generality. Two, rapport. The grease that makes things run smoothly. Rapport is when people feel that they are in sync or on the same wavelength with another person. It is because they feel similar or relate well to each other. This word rapport stems from the old French verb, reporter. It means literally to carry something back. And in the sense of how people relate to each other means that when one person sends out, the other person sends back. Rapport begins with like. Start with liking others. You go first. What you give, you receive. When they move, you move. When they move, you move. When they move, you move. Consciously enter rapport. Start with your intention. Blend into rapport. Now your conscious and unconscious mind are working together. If you mastered the art of rapport, would you move closer to being a directed specific or a wandering generality? Three, criteria, a standard on which a judgment or decision may be based. Criteria is the target and starts with finding out what they want. So ask them, what do you want? Simple enough? Then follow that up with, what is it about that is important to you? People are criteria-seeking machines. As a persuasive person, ask questions to uncover their criteria and give it to them. If you master the art of criteria, would you move yourself closer to being a directed specific or a wandering generality? Four, language patterns the arrows to shoot at the target, their criteria. Language patterns are the spoken phrases that can act as triggers to the people who hear them. All language is made up of presuppositions. What if you could line up your language in a way that what your core message is presupposed by the person you are speaking with? What if you could drop that language into the subconscious mind of that person? Maybe a definition of presuppositions will help you understand it clear. Presuppositions are implicit assumptions about the world or 
background belief relating to an utterance whose truth is taken for granted. With this definition of presuppositions, can you see how relating to others with bunches and bunches of presuppositions makes sense? You are consistently communicating with already agreed upon ideas or concepts. We are creatures of habit, and you are communicating in a way that allows them to see you as a person they continuously agree with. Example, you speak with Alex presupposes Alex exists, and you both know that. They think to themselves, this person really gets me. Make sense? If you mastered the art of language patterns, would you move yourself closer to being a directed specific or a wandering generality? Five, storytelling. Stories are the ultimate delivery mechanism. Stories express your genuine interest. Use stories to make your points. What do the points of your presentation presuppose? Stories help make points very clear. Here is an example of a great story. Once upon a time, there was a wise man who used to go to the ocean to do his writing. He had a habit of walking on the beach before he began his work. One day, as he was walking along the shore, he looked down the beach and saw a human figure moving like a dancer. He smiled to himself at the thought of someone who would dance to the day, and so he walked faster to catch up. As he got closer, he noticed that the figure was that of a young man, and what he was doing was not dancing at all. The young man was reaching down to the shore, picking up small objects and throwing them into the ocean. He came closer still and called out, Good morning! May I ask what it is you are doing? The young man paused, looked up, and replied, Throwing starfish in the ocean. I must ask then, why are you throwing starfish into the ocean? asked the somewhat startled wise man. To this, the young man replied, The sun is up and the tide is going out. If I don't throw them in, they'll die. Upon hearing this, the wise man commented, But young man, do you not realize there are miles and miles of beach and there are starfish all along every mile? You can't possibly make a difference. At this, the young man bent down, picked up yet another starfish, and threw it into the ocean. As it met the water, he turned and said, It made a difference to that one. <laughs> yeah, stories are cool, right? Did you feel that right in your heart, just like I did? Can you see how telling stories is the most effective way to make your point? You could become a well-paid storyteller. If you mastered the art of storytelling, would you move yourself closer to being a directed specific or a wandering generality? Well, let's recap. We started with this question. Are you a directed specific or a wandering generality? Now that we have briefly gone over the five pillars of persuasion, can you see how incorporating them into your life can assist you in getting more of what you really desire most? Can you see how mastering these five pillars of persuasions help you become a directed specific? If yes, I want to become a directed specific, then do this. The how-to is very, very simple. Watch this video once in the morning and once at night for 21 days. 21 days grooves a new habit into your gray matter. That is all it takes. As a way of saying so long for now, I leave you with a wonderful thought to remember till we get together again. Hope it touches your heart as it does mine. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be ever at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and the rain fall softly on your feet.
fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the hollow of his hand. Irish Blessings. S-P-E-A Effectiveness Activator at gmail.com.